What does feminism mean to you? Um, for me, it's, it's quite personal, actually. It's just having the same opportunities as any man would have. It's not being held back because uh, you happen to be a woman um, and, you know, to effectively have a level playing field and, you know, I've always, it's always been one of my core beliefs and it still is and, you know, the more I've got into a position of being able to try and influence some of these things for other women, the more I've wanted to do so. And do you think that you you have a kind of responsibility now to mobilise more women in politics? Yeah, I feel that responsibility quite heavily, actually. Um, I can't fix all the things that still stand in the way of women uh, on my own, but I can, you know, do certain things. And it's one of the things I've made a priority to use whatever influence I've got to encourage more women to come into politics, to help change the attitudes and the practices that keep a lot of women out of politics and more generally to try and uh, help to take down some of the barriers that women still face, not just in politics, but in many different yeah. walks of life. Have you got a, a particular experience that you can tell of when you in politics in your younger years may have found a barrier because of your gender? There's no particular single experience or, you know, a number of experiences. It was more attitudes, I think, that... Uh, when I look back, I think influenced how I behaved or felt that I had to behave in politics in order to be accepted and to be taken seriously and to get on. You know, when you're in a, a very male environment, um, as a young woman, you feel a pressure to behave the way the men around you are behaving. Mm. And that then influences how you develop, how you're perceived. And it's not something I was particularly conscious of at the time, but very conscious now looking back on it. I want to ask you, in, in Scotland, the three, like the, the Labour leader, the SNP, obviously, is you, is a woman, and now the Tory leader is a woman. And I want to, like, pick your brain on what in Scotland is, is this just a coincidence, or is there something in Scotland that's more mobilising towards women? Um, I think some of it is coincidence. You know, three women just happening to be at a particular place in the parties at a particular time. Um... But yeah, I guess the fact that we all were at a particular place in our parties at a particular time also suggests something slightly more positive than that, that uh, politics in Scotland is seen as perhaps a friendlier place for women to be. Um, certainly the Scottish Parliament, not that it's perfect and it can be very adversarial. I've just come from doing First Minister's questions with Kezia and Ruth and it wasn't exactly a cuddly experience. Um, so... You know, it's not perfect, but it is slightly less adversarial. It's got more of a an acceptance of family, you know, working environments. Um, and I think that does make it easier for women. But what I, I don't want it to be seen as is if Scotland's got it all fixed. Yeah. Because although yeah. there are three women leaders and that is a great thing and it is something we should celebrate, you know, we've still got big challenges on gender equality. And if, if there's something, one thing I think we've got to guard against is having me and Kezia and Ruth kind of held up there as evidence that actually all the problems are sorted and, and there's not still work to do. do. No, I understand that. Do you get nervous when you're live on TV? Like, I loved you on The Daily Show. I thought it was so amazing. I was and terrified of The Daily Show. Were you show. nervous? Because I was watching that thinking, if that was me, I'd be so scared right I was. Now. I was petrified. Um, the Daily Show was one of these things I agreed to do weeks in advance and I didn't really think about it. It was just put to me, as you do the Daily Show, I said, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. And then about 24 hours before it, I started to think about it and think, what the hell have I agreed to do? This no. could be an absolute disaster. So it was probably the worst 24 hours uh, of my life. Um, so yes, I do get nervous. But you handle it Even more run-of-the-mill things. Yeah. I'm a great believer. Nerves are an important part of the armoury of any politician if, or, or anybody kind of performing in public. If you don't get nervous, then... That's when you'll slip up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is Mari Black a possible future SNP leader? Absolutely, yeah. without a shadow of a doubt. I don't like um, piling pressure on her uh, <laughs> by saying that because, you know, people used to say that about me years and years ago, although yeah. not when I was quite as young as she was. She is. Um, but, yeah, I mean, she is just incredibly talented. Yeah. Um, so if she wants to be, um, yeah, I think she's... a future yeah no she's amazing okay thank you really so much really i want to stay talking about your busy person so i won't keep you but hopefully i'll meet you in real life oh, nice. 
Yeah. Nice to talk to you. That yeah. would be lovely. Have a nice day. Bye. Cheers. You too. Bye. Bye.